Well, you're probably thinking of mom today and doing something nice for that special lady who influenced everything you do. But mom also has a major impact on the philanthropic world. CBS2 charity contributor and philanthropic advisor Lisa Dietlin is here. This isn't just about influencing the family to help charity. You say a lot of moms are starting their own charitable organizations. Yes, they are, Mike. It's um, absolutely fascinating when you do some of the research. You just have to think about La Leche League, founded by seven moms to teach other moms how to take care of their babies. You think about Attachment Parenting International. You think about Mothers Against Drunk Driving or TACA, which is Talk About Curing Autism. All of these organizations were started by moms. And a lot of celebrities apparently started foundations to honor their mothers. They do. They do. Um, uh, Brian Greasy, our quarterback here of Chicago Bears, after his mom died, started Judy's House, which helps grieving children. Kanye West and his mom started his foundation, and after she died, he asked that all donations be directed to the Loop Dreams teacher training initiative in her honor. And then Chris Orich and other bears, after his mom died, started a foundation about realizing the human potential of helping disadvantaged Chicagoans. Well, of course, it's not easy for all of us to start a charity. I, mean, <laughs> I don't that's a recommend great it thing. either. <laughs> I imagine there's a lot of work involved. One point, and there's 1.5 million really nice and good nonprofits. Well, there are other ways that we can honor our mothers even if we're not going to start a charity so tell us about some of those well first of all you can donate in her name your mom probably has a favorite cause or charity that she talks to you about so make a donation in her name or to your favorite cause in her name second our moms always want us to spend more time with them so why don't you volunteer with your mom throughout the year this would be a great way to not only help the cause but spend time with mom um, there's lots of events like races and runs that Mary Kay was talking about today the why me um, to empower race that's taking place that are about women's issues and this one is specifically about breast cancer and those affected by breast cancer it's starting probably the registration in about five six minutes here and the race is going to begin at eight o'clock in Grant Park and so I encourage people that want to honor their moms to think about participating in a race what if your mom doesn't have a particular charity that she may be involved with how then would you advise it you get involved well as I always recommend there are two websites that I tell people to go to that exist for the sole purpose of providing this information one is charitynavigator.org and one is guidestart.org and both of these have um, tools that you can type in the cause or the area that you care about so it might be food it might be homes um, what have you and then those organizations that indicate in their mission statement that that's what they do will pop up and you and your mom can review them today. And then you can just look at some of the things that may affect it, affect your mom, perhaps a disease. I know in my mom's case, my mom has Alzheimer's, so for me, it would to do be something, Alzheimer's. a contribution Absol there would, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely, and very... that's what, I look in your family history, because oftentimes, you're right, my disease does run in families or a cause that we all care about. And this is a wonderful way. I also encourage people, get your siblings together. You know, sit around the table. We're so materialistic these days, and we're trying to get away from it, and you know, with the economy the way it is. Volunteering is a great way for all of you to honor your mom. Well, thanks so much for coming in. We really do appreciate it, Lisa. A lot of great ideas from Lisa Dietlin there for Lisa's top five tips to honor your mom. Remember, CBS2 is always on at CBS2Chicago.com. Just click on Morning News.